Welcome to the CITS video series. Well, welcome to this session where we're going to introduce the new media management system that is integrated into Desire to Learn. This new system uh, comes to us from Kaltura. UW system has uh, partnered with Kaltura and Desire to Learn to integrate the program into Desire to Learn to make it easy for us to add audio, video, and images to um, our courses. And those images and audio files, video files, are all going to be stored on Kaltura server, so they're not taking up space in D2L. And they'll be stored in a place known as My Media. And so each of us, all instructors and all students, will have a place called My Media where they can upload video files, audio files, and image files. And then when they want to use them in a course, they can insert them into that course. Now, today we're going to talk about the first step in implementing the media management system. And that is we're going to use a tool called Insert Stuff that's available in the WYSIWYG editor. So um, what I'm going to do is show you how that works in the news tool. And as you can see here, I've already done that once. So you can see what it looks like. Here's a Kaltura uh, logo. But here we have a video that's been inserted right into the news um, using the Insert Stuff tool. So how does it work? Well, let's go to a new news item and we'll say this is a new video for the headline and then we're going to look for an icon a button and if we hover it says insert stuff but it has a play a stop a pause and a fast forward icon on it that you would find on your DVD blu-ray player etc that's your insert stuff button. So I'm going to click on that. And I'm going to look over here on the left for my media and click on that. And you'll notice that because I've been using this, I have some media here. But I'm going to show you how to get started with this, how to upload your first video. So we go to Media Upload, and notice that there's a couple other options. We'll add those later on. Um, but we're going to pick Media Upload. Just click on it and say Choose a File to Upload. And I'm going to go to my desktop because I know I have a file there. And it's called the iPad Sleep Wake Button Movie. So I'm going to pick that one and open it. Now, we have, as you can see, an up, upload size of 2 gigabytes for the max file size. And it takes a little while to upload video, but not too long. Um, I can change the, the title from Upload by Pat to Sleep, Wake, button on the iPad. I could give a description and I can use tags or meta tags. So I'm going to use iPad sleep wake and iPad training. And then I'll click on next. And the next thing we'll see is that it's processing our video. And we'll say OK there. And we'll do a refresh to see if it's ready. 
and it is. So now <clears throat> you can see that we have a play button, we have a volume button, a button that we can share with friends, um, open to full screen, play here, and also sharing here. So I'm going to go to the insert button, the blue insert button, click on that, and then I'm going to um, going to max make this a little bit bigger so we can see what it looks like and below the video there we go I'm going to type this video is stored on the Kaltura server and I can do the same kinds of things in terms of start dates, etc. with a news item. Um, I can save it as a draft or I can publish it, but I'm going to publish it. And if we go to the home page, now we see the video. Now I have to keep clicking on this because I'm in Chrome and Chrome has uh, me click when there's plugins uh, required. So that's just the way I have Chrome set up. But um, normally your videos will pop right up. And so here's my video. And if I click on the play button, we'll hear it. Once it gets started. Well, this lesson is going to cover the use of the sleep wake. So there you have it. So in any tool where there's a an insert stuff button in the WYSIWYG editor, you can do this. Um, so that would be in content when you uh, go to new and you create a file. In a discussion when you post, there's an insert stuff button. Um, in quizzing, when you're creating a quiz question, I believe there's an insert stuff button. Uh, so there are several places that you'll find it. Now, one of the other things that will happen, um, whoops, didn't mean to do that, cancel that. One of the other things that's going to happen is we're going to put a link to My Media on the Resources menu so that you can easily get to um, your media and look at what's in there. And when you do that, you'll be able to upload media without doing it um, in a WYSIWYG editor as well. And as you begin to gather media, it becomes much easier to add the media to a course. So if, for example, I decide to create a file and want to put a video in here that I've already added, all I need to do after I click on insert stuff is click on the video itself and say next and it's already selected then. So that's what I would do to add that video that's already in my My Media, my media file um, selection. So it's a real easy process. Um, now, when are we going to have this available? We're going to roll it out uh, next week, on uh, the week of the 24th, starting on Wednesday. We're going to do it um, gradually. Wednesday, uh, Fond du Lac, Manitowoc, Marathon, Waukesha, Washington. Uh, we'll have it available. Thursday, Barron, Fox, Marshfield, and Richland will have it available. And Friday, the 28th, Baraboo, Marinette, Rock, and Sheboygan will have it available. So um, we'll do it gradually. And then um, once they f uh, make a fix to the widgets that work with Kaltura, we'll be adding another step to the process where you can actually have a gallery in your course on the home page where you can uh, show images or videos or have audio files um, that 
you contribute or that your students contribute. So if you're teaching biology and you're studying uh, vertebrates and you have several images that you want your students to study, you could load them into the gallery in your course and have them right there on the course homepage and the students could look at them there and they can click on them and make them big and so forth. So that'll be the next step and that'll be coming in about two and a half weeks. Um, and then the final step uh, will be to add what's called media space and that's the use of Kaltura outside of D2L. So we have lots of exciting things coming. This video will be posted for several months on the CITS website. There will also be a document to go along with it um, to help you with learning how to use the insert stuff button. And as we add the new tools, we'll add a video and a document for those. So thanks for joining us today. Brought to you by CITS, making work cooler for a really long time.